Ain't no pill, but your boys know it's been a drill. All these hoes want the same thing like a synonym, damn. And it's chain, rings, queen, Celine, Shereen. She won it. So look, y'all, we really about to talk about heartbreak. Everybody goes through heartbreak, trust me. Girls was sending me like DMs about how niggas was treating them and how niggas thought this and nigga did that. And I was just like, you know what, sis? I'm here. Let's let's talk. Let's just talk. Cause I'm not I'm not to break down how I handled my heartbreak. Yes, y'all. I done been through heartbreak too, actually. And it really, it really killed me. And like I really did not know what I was gonna do. And I was really down and out. But y'all, we finna get into it. We about to get into it now. Is y'all ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Number one thing to myself about heartbreak is that I come first. Number one, I come, I come first, and it took me a while to, it took me a while to get to that point because it was so bad to the point where I forgot who I was. I used to do things that I didn't want to do just for him, and I'm so like I'm glad that I've grown up and I can understand the realness and the trueness of everything behind closed doors because people see relationships and be like oh they working out they good things they good and it's really not like that and y'all know I'm always goofy and I'm always laughing but this is serious because I, I I done been through it I done been through it it ain't a joke <laughs> most of y'all done been through it and if you haven't been through it then you lucky you lucky but heartbreak ain't no joke heartbreak will make you feel like you're dying there's no hope. Sometimes it make you feel like you want to kill yourself. I promise y'all. Like, it will make you go into a deep depression because love is serious. Like, when you love somebody, it's on a whole nother level. It ain't no little love. Like, once you in it, you're in it. And it's hard to get out of it once you're in it because it's like, well, damn. I, like, damn, I really was rocking with you. Like, I was really rocking with this nigga. And he just go up and leave me like that like that was something serious but we gonna we about to jump into it yeah when you young you be like well he gonna love me we gonna be this we gonna be that we gonna do that and at that time and at that moment yes it feel it feels like like it's the best thing in the world it's the best thing in the world to know that this person has loved you and this person care for you and ain't nothing nobody in this world is gonna take that from y'all because that's y'all relationship as females we we notice every single thing you can't run you can't run at the past that's some females you can but that's something they gotta work on. My point of view of it is really crazy not be with that person no more. Like, you wake up in the morning and you <laughs> looking for a good morning and waiting for him to call you when he never do. Like, knowing that all that stops is something. Like, it it mess with your mind. Not only your mind, your heart. Like, your heart be all in it. Your heart like, okay, I love this person. I'm gonna be with this person 24-7. But your mind be like, nah, you don't need him, sis. You don't need him. You can do better without him. But your heart, I swear, your heart be fighting your mind and it's like your heart will you will go crazy you will do things you never thought you would ever do because you love that person trust me i done been there i done been there i done been there and it hurt it hurt me to my heart see look, i'm about to tell y'all the story when i was younger i said this is the boyfriend <laughs> not really younger but i haven't dated anybody in a while and this is and this is because of like this we talking about it right now two years ago or a year ago i was in a relationship at first i really didn't like him at first, I didn't like him. I thought he was this. I thought he was that. I was like, you know what? I don't really want to rock with him because he not my type or he was just too childish for me. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just chill. I used to like really like, I ain't even going to flex. I used to dog him. I used to be like, I don't want him. He not my boyfriend. Like, that's not my boyfriend. But as time went on, I realized, oh, he cool. Oh, I love, like, I like him. We going to be in this together. Like, I'm feeling him a little bit. I ain't going to let him know that. But I'm feeling him a little bit. And then it started to go up. My feelings for him started to go up and up and up. But I noticed up. Every time my feelings started to go up, his feelings started to go down. And that can happen. That can happen. That can happen. It's like y'all not meeting. It's like y'all pass each other. Y'all passing each other. You up here, he down here. And that's the worst, y'all. When I tell y'all, that is the worst feeling because it's like you you getting more hype. And he's just like, uh, coming on down. But he was hype and he was down. It's like y'all just passed each other and that is like the number one thing with me and it's like it get really sad and like how this is really how i dealt with my heartbreak y'all i'm like every other person i'm human <laughs> i ain't gonna say i can't with my heartbreak good i got over him i was like eh, eh, no yeah when i say i couldn't sleep i couldn't eat i couldn't think i didn't want to go out and play i didn't want to talk to my mama i was <sighs> i was so depressed i was depressed depressed won't even a word like I had very bad anxiety. I would wake up 24-7 thinking about that person every single day of my life. And it was like, this is not healthy for me. This is this right here is not healthy for me. This is not healthy for my life. And you know what? We had broke up. Me and, me and this person had broke up. 
but he was still trying to be with me and still trying to do things with me and all that stuff. And now, you know, I was like, I love him. So I'm going to do that. And I was like, in the back of my head, I was thinking that's going to help my relationship. And at the end, it really did not help my relationship. It actually made me worse. It made me a weak person. I said, you know what, Sylvia? You got to do better for yourself. Ain't nobody. Her girls, listen to me when I say, it got to be you. You got to put your foot down. You got to wake up and be like, you know what, sis? I'm, be I'm better than this. I'm better than this. And you know what? That's exactly what happened to me. I I woke up one morning. I just woke up one morning. And I, you know what? And it, took, and it took me a while to get here. Like, it took me... It took me a while to get here. And you know what? I was like, what? I got a text. I got a text from him. And usually I shoot him. I shoot him a text right back. I don't wait. I don't, a quick second. And at this time, we weren't together. And he was playing me, but I didn't realize. I was like, you know what? I've been with this dude for two years. And I was like, he would never do that. Like, like he would never do that to me. He would never play me. He would not leave me to go with somebody else. But I was wrong. It was my mind. It was my heart. My mom was telling me, girl, leave him. Leave him. But my heart was like, nah, sis, stay. Stay with him. Stay with him. Let him dog you. Stay with him, sis. Don't, don't, don't have a mind of your own. And you know, I woke up. I woke up. He shot me a text. He shot me a text. He shot me a text. And something in me just said, don't text him. 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 And that's like the most. Girls, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the hardest thing to do. Sit back and be. Some of you love. I mean love. I mean love. I ain't talking about no love. Oh, we like each other. No, I mean love. And you see him text you. And you got to tell yourself, nah, sis. <laughs> don't, don't, don't pick up the phone. Don't text him back. Don't test the man. See, see, see how far he'll go. I start to realize on me, on me. I start to realize stuff. I start to peep stuff. I'm like, oh, he was only texting me because of this. He was only texting me because of that. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm Sylvia. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm. You not about to blame me? Cause I was that bitch when you met me, and I'll be that bitch when you leave me. Just know that, like, you, you can't, you can't dog me. You gotta believe in yourself. But he shot me a text. That's I'm not gonna text him. So I waited the next day, then the next day, and I was seeing him at school. I was seeing him at school, and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm not about, to, I'm not about to do that, cause I realized he was using me. <laughs> he was using me to a point where I was like, you know what, sis, you know this ain't right. You know this ain't right. You know this don't feel right. You know this not right for your soul. You know, and it was, it was making me go crazy, y'all. When I tell you, I was like waiting by the phone, waiting for him to text me. You know, I was like, you know what, sis, you was better. You was better than. You was better than him, her, him, her, shim, him, Kim. You was you was better than that. Like you, you have to put your foot down and trust me, y'all. It's it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Cutting somebody off that you love, like you, like you love them. You have to cut them off and forget about them. It's hard. Trust me, cause I've been there. I've been there, and I'm gonna I'm let y'all know a little few tips. Put your foot down. Don't let no nigga. Don't let no nigga use you. You you are beautiful. I would trust me. Y'all might some most of y'all young, but you gon' you gon' realize you gon' wake up like, nah. He said what to me? He treated me like what? You gon' you gon' realize that. You gon' be like, this ain't right. Because every day your heart hurt. Every day. Your heart hurt. Your mind is going crazy. That ain't even your boyfriend no more. But you but you still like you still holding on to it. You like, sis, I, I need him. I love him. I need him. I love him. You start to realize, oh, I'm better than this. You start to realize, oh, I'm doing better. I trust me, y'all. It took me, <laughs> it took me a whole year to actually get over somebody. Like, and, I, and my other ex, it took me like over two years to actually get over. It'll take a while, but you would get there. Now, y'all, I am like the, I am like the happiest person in the world. Like, I'm so glad I ignored his calls. I am so glad I, I didn't feed into that because he was just gonna use me and continue to use me. See, niggas don't care. It's about what they want. We we are we, girls. We are some bad bitches. We don't need them. We don't need. We might want them. We might want them, but you know we don't need them. We don't. Cause at the end of you gotta do what's best for you. You gotta do what's best for you. You got to do what is best for you. you. Can't keep waking up every morning sad, upset, worrying, worrying about where he at. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You got this. Oh, you got this. It's like don't let no nigga. I mean no nigga. 18 and up, this for you, 18 and up. Don't let no nigga, nah sis, don't let no nigga run over you. Don't let them, don't let them, cause once they see they can, oh it's on from there. It's on from there and I'm telling y'all, y'all might love that dude, Tre like, trust me, you might love that dude more than you, more than you love yourself cause 
that's what love is. You love you love your significant other more than you love yourself. And that's and that's the and that's the wrong way to go out. That's the wrong way to go out. You start to realize that shit. You like, uh-uh, sis. This ain't right. Something in my gut, something in me is telling me not. Nah, this ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. But it's gonna be up to you. You yeah, it's boom. <laughs> you. It's gonna be up to you to get over it. Yeah, it, it might hurt. It sting. It, it it beats you up. It feel like you're dying. It feel like you you have no hope. But trust in me and trust in God. I don't know if some of y'all might believe in God, but trust in God. Cause I y'all, I say y'all, I was on the corner of this bed, crying my eyes out. I was crying my eyes out, and I was like, you know what, God, please get me through this. Please get me, cause it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. I can't keep going on with my life every second, everything. I drink water. I think about him drinking water. I see a car going by. I think about him riding the car. Like, it can't. It's just, like, you got to do what's best for you. And I know it ain't easy. But trust me, boom. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. It, it has took me a while to get there. And I'm so, y'all know what? I'm so happy. And I'm so glad that I'm here right now sharing my story because I can do that now at first when people used to bring him up I, my heart would drop when I see him my heart would drop like I used to be so in love with him but I'm not like I'm not no more like, it was really killing me y'all it was killing me to the point where I was so depressed and I was so sad and I was like if he don't love me nobody's gonna love me and it be like that and this is kind of emotional because it's like this is something serious this is not this is not a joke like this is not heartbreak it's something serious and it can make people go crazy trust me i done did something like i don't me and him they got into a whole fight because i want <laughs> i won't have it like but at the end of the day don't have hate in him don't have hate in him but that's the second step don't have hate in him that's the second step the first step is dealing with yourself make sure you straight and once you straight once you straight you can start to forgive him you're like you know what i forgive you I forgive you. I wish you the best. I promise you I wish you the best. I would not I will never want my exes. I promise y'all. I will I, I want all my exes to see in life. So cool. All my exes to this day. I just they taught me something. My exes taught me something. They taught me. They taught me. And I thank God every day for that lesson. I thank God every day for that lesson. Because if God wouldn't have never, never taught me that lesson, I would have still been that little girl letting niggas run over me. Cause I don't cause I love them too much. I don't love. I don't love myself. I love them. At the end of the day, you was bad. You was cute. You don't need no nigga. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, you might want him at time. It might get lonely, but you can do bad all by yourself. And I mean that. And I mean that. I mean that. It's too much. It comes with it. They start to slow you down. They start to slow you down. They start to slow your hustle down because you so you so focused in what he doing. And you're not focusing on yourself. And that's what it was. I was so focused on him. I wasn't even doing my schoolwork. I was I, I was worrying about him 24-7. I was constantly checking his Instagram. Like I had to. I had to get rid of all that. I had to. Because I said it starts with me. It starts with me. Ain't nobody going to jump in my body. Let me magically get over him. No, it takes time. It takes time. But trust me, go. you'll get over it. You'll get over it. I love all y'all. I love her. And if y'all ever go through any type of heartbreak, you can talk to me. You can talk to me because, honey, it's hard. Like, it's hard. It's hard. But you, I, I know, y'all got it. Trust me. Trust me. We in this together. If I can get over it, you can get over it. You know? But we got this, sis. We got this. And y'all know I love y'all. So, you know what? You got it, boom. You bad. You cute. This is the end of that video. I hope, I hope, and I pray that that video helped a lot of girls out there. Because, baby, you are the best don't let nobody tell y'all otherwise you are the baddest you are the cutest it's hard but you got it sis i know you do i know you do but you know i love you bye i'm risking the button i work swerving scourge